Hey guys, James at Carts and Farts. So I've got a customer that I just finished an eco battery install and he called me and he wanted a USB charger for his cell phone. So a uh, pretty quick, easy install on a club car precedent. So I uh, uh, made a little video and hopefully this may help some of you guys do it. So this is the USB uh, receptacle that I'm going to install. I've used these before and they work very well. Um, it shows it's got a QC 3.0. I'm not sure what that means, but I guess that's the voltage. Um, once this is wired up to the 12 volt reducer that you have, you can just push that button and it lights up blue. So on this cart, and I've already taken the dash off and then I decided to make the video. So as you can see, I've got my eco battery gauge there, which by the way, shameless plug, I am an eco battery dealer. You need to call me to get that. So. Where's he gonna put it? Well, he had already had a regular uh, battery meter, but it does not function the same as the lithium battery meter. So I just left that unplugged. So where are you gonna put it? It gets really tight behind here with your reverse buzzer, wiring harnesses and such. So we decided to put it up here and I started to drill it, then I stopped. Now, let me show you my wife's cart and hers actually has a factory USB port from Club Car. So it's in the same place. And by the way, that one doesn't work. I need to get it fixed. But you see, I've got an eco battery. So let's get back to my customer's cart and we're gonna show you. What so the first thing I did was to get out my hole saw. And I'll be honest with you, I've had this one for a while and the markings are kind of rubbed off, but it looks like it's about an inch and an eighth. So first thing I did, just to make sure, had an old piece of cardboard. I drilled a hole in it, and then I stuck my USB socket in there, and there's no slop around it. It fits good and snug, so that's a good way to test. Uh, if you got a piece of plastic, it's probably even better. But that piece of cardboard worked out fine, so I know I've got the right size holes. So, so not only uh, to have that USB uh, mounted just slightly off to the right of the steering column, it's a whole lot easier to get a straight cut on it because with the steering column, it's almost impossible to get a straight cut. So since this is not my cart, it's a customer's cart and I'm king of the one armed video, uh, I'm going to cut it off while I cut this All off. right, you can see the hole did end up straight. So now I'm going to get my wiring harness ready. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feed a positive and negative wire, I'm gonna go all the way underneath this floor mat and back under my seat where I just installed the eco battery and I'm gonna tie it into my voltage reducer. Um, cool thing about these eco battery voltage reducers, they're fused in and out. So it's got two sets of fuses. So I'm already gonna have a fuse for any type of uh, voltage surge or spike. Um, so hopefully that will not give me any issues, but um, I've done it before and it works. And real quickly, uh, this USB charging port that I got off Amazon, it does come with its own wiring harness. It's probably not gonna be long enough, I doubt that, but I'll extend that wire. And I had the bag and I'm assuming they probably still have this part number. So if you wanna pause the video and see whether you can um, uh, access that. And you know what, I just noticed something. This will work from 12 volts, 24, or 36. So I may do some probing underneath there and see if I can find, you know, no more than 36 volts right there from the dash. So uh, let me check that out. Well, guess what I found? I found one side of my headlight switch is 13.5 volts. And the other side, of course, is zero until I cut the headlights on. As you can see, there goes that other 13.5 and you can see the reflection on my refrigerator there. So sorry, I've only got one hand I can hold this test light. So 13.5, cut the headlight off, 13.5. So I am going to use that source right there. So uh, this will keep me from pulling the floor mat up and uh, what little bit of amperage that uh, USB charger is gonna pull. It's not gonna bother me a bit. So let me get the next step. As I also noticed there is a positive and a negative side to this USB charging. So be sure to pay attention to that. And the harness actually comes with a fuse. So we'll make the, we'll 
tuck all this right here behind the dash and hopefully he never has a problem with the fuse blowing, but I will be fused. Now, when I slide this in there, I've got to use my little tiny hands to go underneath here and tighten up this little collar right here. So let's see how that Okay, goes. on this is a 2013 club car precedent. So I found that this green wire with a gray stripe is a ground wire. So I am going to take my harness. I'm gonna leave the inline fuse in there and I'm gonna hook my ground to that wire and my positive, I'm going to jump off to the headlight switch. And as you can tell, it mounted in real nice. It's got a little cover. And remember, whoops, I bumped the reverse switch. And remember, this positive to the headlight is wired in with the key activated switch on the uh, voltage reducer from Eco battery. So the key is on right now for me testing. As soon as I cut the key off, it kills the 12 volts to this uh, headlight switch and every other accessory. This particular one here, I've got a Boss Marine Radio speaker system, uh, Bluetooth radio, which sounds awesome. So uh, let me get this wired up. Got everything wired up. So I wired my negative wire from the supplied harness from my USB connector there or receptacle to my green wire with the gray stripe, which was unused. So I've got it in there. My positive wire, I left my fuse in there and it actually comes with a couple extra glass fuses. Whoops, just like this. Hopefully my customer will never need those glass fuses, but I'm gonna leave that, there's plenty of room to tuck it in. And I've got it wired in with this little add a circuit connector. I use those on my dark blue wire for my key switch. So now with the key off, Everything's dead, even the headlights are dead, no headlights. So as soon as I cut my key on, my USB charger illuminates. I've got headlights up front. Uh, there's a Bluetooth radio back there that'll energize at the same time. And when they get home and they cut it off, it kills everything. Nothing's gonna drain anymore. And I get those connectors off of Amazon. And let's see here, you can kind of see on the side of that pouch. Now. how it kind of adds an extra circuit to it. So that's the female and it has a male end connected to it. You can see it really good on that one. Um, there's a part number. And like I said, I get them off Amazon, it's cheap. It just makes a clean install. So let me get this thing back together. Okay guys, it is done. So it's actually dark here right now, but you can see the USB port. Um, the key is on, but the port is off. And as soon as you touch it, it comes on. So my customer's gonna be able to charge his cell phone with that. And if you cut the key off, it cuts off. So hopefully this video helped. Uh, please remember, I am your local Columbia, South Carolina Eco dealer. So I would love to help you install an Eco battery just like this 105. Very nice, very top of the line lithium battery. Um, comes with that gauge. Uh, this video is not necessarily about the eco battery, but uh, I'm gonna get a little shameless plug in there. So email me at the address below. My cell phone number will be on there also. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to help you with some future golf cart needs. Thanks for tuning in.